much for watching. If you've been watching the celebration series, this week I'm going to be talking about celebrating your parents. What does it mean to celebrate our parents? Just like the Word of God says in Exodus 20 about honor your father and your mother, Ephesians 6 says it again, but it says that it's a, it's a commandment with a promise of a long life. What does it mean to honor our parents? To honor our parents means to care for them, obey them, respect them, be there for them when they need us. Honor means to value, to value something. Our parents have been there since day one. Since we were born, they were caring for us. So why don't we do that the same way? They gave us life. They gave everything they had so we can have everything that we needed. Jesus, when he was here on earth, we see that in Luke. How he was very, he was submissive to his parents, and he gives us that example. And we see many other stories as well. But one of the stories that I was reading, it caught my attention, and that's why I decided to do this celebration on celebrating your parents. It caught my attention on how sometimes traditions can get a hold of us, and we try to twist God's word because of a tradition. And we see this honoring your parents. Matthew 15 where the Pharisees, they're trying, they're trying to test Jesus and, tell, and they say, why don't your disciples wash their hands when they're, before they eat? And Jesus is like, he turns it around and he tells them, well, why don't you guys honor your parents? How the Bible says. You say, you say that you tell your parents that you were gonna give them, for example, I'm gonna give you, I was gonna give you this money or I was going to give you this property, but instead of giving it to you, I told God that I was going to give it to him. And that's kind of like, what? Like, what are you doing? Like, your parents are in need, and you decide to give to charity instead of your parents. And we see how these people are very, very traditional, and they're trying to do everything in their tradition, human laws, and they're disobeying God's work. It's good to give to charity, but when your parents are in need, when your relatives are in need, you have to provide for them. First Timothy tells us how anyone who does not provide for their household, their relatives, is worse than an unbeliever. And that's crazy, you know. We're supposed to give to our parents. Sometimes we'd rather give to other people instead of giving it to our relatives who are in need. And, if, and give, by giving to them, some, those relatives that are not Christians, they can see, wow, they are giving to us or things like that, and it gives a testimony about that. I just wanna just keep that in your heart. Celebrate your parents. Like I said, they've been there for you since day one. Honor them. I really like what Tim Keller says, and I'm just gonna finish with this. Honor your parents. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you.